Good morning, YouTube family. It's April the 26th, 2015 at 6.16 a.m. And we have something a little different to share with you this morning. Well, earlier this evening, when we began to quiet ourselves and come in, what we would normally do would be enter into praise and worship. I would have a little service and communion as I've talked about before and spend some time in the scriptures but the Lord had something different in mind tonight his whole attitude seemed to be that of quiet and rest and stillness yeah wouldn't you say when you began to settle in with him what what was his countenance what did he seem like we came into prayer around midnight, and he was very gentle and very quiet and peaceful. Yeah. You know, very peaceful. It took me a while to kind of catch up to that because uh, we're just like anyone else, you know. We're tuned to uh, words and action and something going on, something being spoken, whatever. And uh, I almost felt a little anxious for a while, even though I knew in my heart, my spirit, that this is a good thing. You know, it was like the very, very first uh, thing that he gave me today, we were re-released a song, Rest Your Head Upon My Heart. And I should have known from that. Uh, yeah. I should have known hint. from there right away. <laughs> hint, hint. You know, so, you know, I felt like the Lord's, sometimes His word to us or His words to any of us are not words. Right. You know, His doing is not doing. It's kind of like just be still and know that I'm God. Well, I was... Uh, into worship and really, really in a, a quiet, restful place with him. I had to take a nap around three o'clock in the morning, but um, I came back refreshed and and he was just so joyful and so quiet. And I was waiting for a message to share with you all because that's how he usually works. But he he just kept smiling and didn't really have anything to say and I thought oh dear have I done something wrong <laughs> but he's smiling so I must not have <laughs> and I asked him that and he said no <laughs> you know so he answered me and then um, Ezekiel said I think I know what the Lord wants to do tonight I think he wants us to enter into his rest well yeah I kept uh get in all these different scriptures on uh, cease from your striving and uh, don't fear come away by yourselves for a while uh, one in particular is Psalm 37 rest in the Lord and be willing to wait for him yeah oh that was very strong I felt that too right. uh, Isaiah 30 he says in quietness and trust is your strength. Uh, we're just not used to being still and quiet. We've got that 30-second commercial mentality. Uh, I remember a church service once that just as an experiment, they asked everyone to leave their cell phone and their watch at the door. And the pastor promised he wouldn't go along. So the people come into the service, they have their praise and worship, nothing dead silence and immediately people got uncomfortable and the pastor said it's okay let's just sit before the lord for a minute well two minutes and three minutes i tell you what by the time 10 minutes was up people were pulling their hair out they didn't know what to do <laughs> and it was just the idea of it's okay not to do or be or act or perform or but and particularly with the Lord, He just wants to comfort us, to heal us, to love us. And like a, 
a child at rest on his mother's knee, the Psalms talk about. Right. Romans 8.15 says, You've not received a spirit of fear, but of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father, Daddy. Yeah. You know, how many times have you seen a little child climb up on his mom or his dad's lap and just kind of have that little baby sigh, you know? <sighs> <laughs> but don't, they, maybe they don't even know any words yet. Mm -hmm. But they just, there's something where they just rest. They feel so safe and secure against their father's heart, their mother's heart. Right. And that's exactly where the Lord wants us. Exactly where He wants us. So you think tonight the message was to be still and be peaceful and to rest in Him. Well, I really, I even wondered, I thought, Lord, is there something on your heart and mind that is troubling you? Do you, do you want us to comfort you? Uh, I even, at one point, uh, saw myself uh, dancing with him in, in this beautiful palace in the ballroom uh, as his bride. And uh, he just seemed to have such a peaceful countenance. It, it, it was almost like maybe you out there, whoever you are, maybe you need to be comforted right now and you just need him to hold you. So let him hold you. Yeah. Let him hold you. Let him comfort you. <sighs> Other than that, uh, you know, the best I can say is that there's that special place, there's that place away. I heard uh, a pastor from India once, and he talked about stay out of the water with the sharks. Get back in the boat. <laughs> back <laughs> in the boat with Jesus. And there's a, there's a still quiet like our, our web our you know YouTube name name it still small voice it's his still small voice he's not in the thunder he's not in the lightning but when that whisper came through the prophet hid his face he knew it was the Lord yeah so there's a there's a these are the things of gentleness quietness tenderness very very fragile and there are times to let yourself go, let yourself dream, let yourself hope. You can just hear the Lord breathing peace right. into your heart and soul and right. mind. Right. I sense that all night long. Peace, rest in me. Peace, yeah. rest in me. The best I can tell you is Maybe find a place today or tonight where you can get away from the phones and the computers and the, lock yourself up in your car or basement or somewhere. Maybe light a little candle. Uh, have a little, put a little cheese and crackers aside. Have a little love feast with him. Do something to set up an atmosphere of quiet and peace and rest. And I would say, Keep your scriptures there, and that's fine, but avoid the temptation to jump into them and start reading. Because then we're kind of putting that desk between us and the Lord again, in a way. Yeah. Uh, he comes to us in and through the scriptures, but there's times when He wants to take those His presence in His written Word and set it aside. And He wants to be with you, the living Word. Amen. Thank you, Ezekiel. You're welcome. And when we're feeling insecure or fearful, there's no greater place of security and safety than in the Lord's presence in His arms and in the knowledge of Him that He's with us. He's at our right hand and He will never forsake us. He's always there to guide our footsteps and to protect us in everything that we do. And He'll never allow us to be tried more than we can stand up under with His grace. He's faithful and He already knows how He's going to resolve whatever situation you're in. 
so you can totally find comfort in his presence and enter into his rest and allow him to work out all the circumstances and to bring the peace into your heart that you so desperately need. And you know, uh, regardless of the circumstances that we're going through at any given time, the most valuable knowledge is still to know him and to know his love for us. And that's the place where the greatest peace is as well. So let's bring our circumstance, our stress, our lives before him and just lay them at his feet. Forget about them and enter into his heart just snuggle up close to him and know him because there is no greater knowledge in the whole universe than the knowledge of our Lord and his love for us. And one thing that came to me uh, just as I was finishing up here and I was about to put the song on is that, you know, we have this endless thirst for knowledge as if this knowledge independently and of itself can save us. And I think the whole point of this evening with the Lord, because I was here, you know, we've been here from 12 until 6. We've been with the Lord for six hours. And, you know, normally I'd panic and say, well, Lord, aren't you going to give us a message? But the peace of the Lord was so strong and His countenance was so sweet that I realized What he wants us to know is not the busyness and the activity or the information to make us secure or to teach us. He wants us to know him. He wants us to enter into his arms, into his space, into his heart, and to know and experience him. And that knowledge of knowing him is so far beyond anything that words can describe. So with that in mind, dear family, I'm going to share this song with you. And I pray that you'll take uh, time aside today in a special way to be with him and just to tuck into his heart, just snuggle into his heart and experience his sweetness. And the Lord bless you.
nations born of sin I'm coming soon Don't lose another day So keep your eyes on me, my bride, and let your gaze be pure. From beguiling webs spun in the dark, so you will forever miss your mark. I'm You have my grace Lay hold of it today Don't let it go It will leave